and now we are waiting for the boxes for the next bout of the evening and this is a super lightweight contest over six rounds now john quay and albert Amer. officials for this bout judge one ishmael williams judge two clement shown and judge three david mills the man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Obain. Now, let's welcome the boxer from the Wisdom Boxing Gymnasium, Albert Amor. I just give me, boy. Yeah, yeah. I got a selling. Survivor. It's white here. Give me that one thing there. Oh, yeah, give me that one thing there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me seize the opportunity to acknowledge some dignitaries that are here with us tonight at the Bukum Boxing Arena. And those of you watching us live on television, we salute you, we thank you so much. We have the big man himself, the man in charge of uh, Max Television, the man who had countless businesses is here with us, Mr. Maxwell Techi. Shall we put our hands together for him? Thank you very much. We also have from the United States of America, Oscar. Oscar, I mean, Oscar Kevor is here with us. Thank you. We also have very Reverend Andre Gilmore, UK missionary, is here with us. Sir, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your presence here. We also have Mr. Marvin, the later pharmaceutical, is also here with us. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you. Alexander Pieni from Italy, thank you so much for coming. Rosa M. Droget, Spain, Catalonia Trade and Investment. Thank you very much for coming. We also have Mauritia Arias from Argentina Embassy. It's also here. Thank you so much for coming, sir. Patrice Solino from the Canadian military is also here. Thank you very much. We also have uh, Sin Mawat, the Canadian military, is also here. Thank you so much for coming. We also have Yannick Dubudevo, Canadian High Commission. Thank you so much for coming. We have John Lemire from the Canadian High Commission. It's also here. Thank you so much for coming. Augustine Quaint from the Canadian Commission. Thank you so much for coming. Sadiq Atta from the Ghana Basketball Association of Ghana. Thank you so much for coming. Atta Van S. GBBA. Thank you for coming. Aite Bule is also from GBBA. Thank you for coming. Chris Atipo from the Premium Motors Limited. Chris, thank you so much for coming. We also have Leslie Aye. First National Bank. Where is Leslie? National Bank, you have to join us as the sponsors of the Deluxe. Are you ready? Thank you very much, Leslie, for coming. And Tim Smith, Oko Energy. Where is he? Thank you so much. Idafa from the United States. We have Omero Nasget from Mexico. We have Teresa Duas from Argentina. We have Alista Slower African Talent Football Academy. Thank you so much for coming. We also have Anna from Spain. We have Sawaida Al Hassan from Mexico. We have Salim Inter Milas Football Academy. Thank you very much. And the big man himself, the man in charge of sports editing at Graphic Corporation, Mr. Maurice Consa. Thank you very much. Now let's welcome the boxer who is going to fight from the blue corner. And this is the man, Albert Amo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now let's welcome the man John Quay. 
much anticipated bout of the evening you're live on max tv today is saturday the luxury professional boxing league week number 15 and this is the fourth bout of the evening and this is gonna be a super lightweight contest over six rounds now officials for this bout judge one ishmael williams judge two clement shun and judge three david mills now introducing the boxer fighting at from the blue corner and this is the man from the wisdom boxing gymnasium here in accra and this is the man with the weight of 140.1 pounds and with the official record of just one fight one defeat and the man who is ready today to move mountains presenting to you the boxer Albert Armour. Switching over to the red corner. And this is the man who weighed 142.80 pounds yesterday at the way in right here at the Bukon Boxing Arena. This is one of the discoveries of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League here in Ghana. And this is the boxer. Countless individuals in boxing have penciled him down to become a world beta. This is the boxer. A couple of days ago, he signed a new contract with his new management team that is the IMAX Boxing Promotions and they are taking care of him tonight. He is here today to prove his powers as one of the finest boxes. Official record, 11 fight, 6 wins, 4 defeat, 1 draw. And this is the man who is also known to be called the Magic Man. Presenting to you the boxer from the CVU Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra. John Quay! And the 
man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Obeng. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clear fight. Obey my instructions and defend yourself at all times. Touch up, God bless. Whenever John Quay fights, it is magic time. Round one. Here we go for round one. Earlier on, we heard from Mubarak Yusuf Nano. The man who has uh, managed him over the last couple of years, he believes that we should look out for the upcoming world champion. And, and He's shown a lot of class. John Quay, by the way. And obviously the Deluxe Professional Boxing League has given him so much exposure in his boxing career. And he says he can only take advantage. Of it. so much exposure and so much exposure and indeed a new lease of life a, at the beginning of his career he was just brought in to lose to pad the records of other fighters but come the the luxury fight night he has his career has had a new lease of life and uh, he has become one of the best boxers on the local front in recent times all oh, the two boxers going in tough strong and hard and albert ama is a southpaw well down albert goes after that exchanges they had he lies down flat is he going to recover i guess not and albert is in wonderland and john quay is doing a gesture of burying him albert ama he went down like a log john quay once again victorious my oh my the magic man has done magic tonight And bring John Quay enjoying a killing ride. Easy work, easy work. Okay, so that was the uh, earlier exchanges. And it will be interesting to see what happened. Well, it was a hook from the left by John Quay. Down went Ama not to come back. Now, yeah, that, that punch, ladies and gentlemen, tempo is all over your brain. Surely, shall we put hands together for the two boxes? Very well, and uh, let me take the opportunity to invite Al Haji Fadi Fatah, one of the management members of the boxer John Quay, to join me in the ring as we go ahead with the verdicts. It's an obvious verdict. After this one, we have a juvenile fight. After the juvenile fight, we come over to the professional bout that is super lightweight contest over six rounds. So Al Haji Fadi Fatah NS Ade, the man in charge of media at IMAX Media Groups, is also joining us. These are the men who were behind the signing of uh, the new boxer John Quay in the uh, outfit. So now we have the verdict. Now, listen, gentlemen, in round one, one minute 31 seconds by a technical knockout presenting to you the boxer. Under the management of Aymar's Boxing Promotions, the man who is also known to call the Magic Man, John Quay. Now, now, before I talk to the boxer, let, let me talk to the big man himself. And this man has been in the media for more than 30 years. He is a known personality in Ghana. Mr. Enes Ade is the younger brother of the former Black Stars coach, the man who has done a lot of Ghana boxing, Coach Ade. 
is here with us, Mr. Enes Ade. How are you, sir? I'm good, and thanks for having me tonight. You look like you are smiling. Well, our boxer, this is his first show in since signing for us, and he's acquitted himself quite well, so we are quite excited about this evening's presentation. Wonderful. Now, tell us, your chief executive is here. What message do you have for him, for what you saw in John Quay? Well, we've embarked on a journey, and we can all see that it's we're going all the way to the world. So the world should watch out for us. Well, now, now, finally, before I talk to the boxer, the dignitaries who are here from the Mexican embassy, from the American embassy, from the Canadian embassy, from the Italian embassy, how do you feel as a media person? Well, I'm personally very excited and I want to extend my sincere appreciation to them for finding time to join us. This is the beginning of a new journey and we're taking it all the way to the top. So you are privileged to be here with us and trust me, we're taking it all the way to the top. Very well. Now finally, a lot of sponsors are coming on board. I just spoke to a banker who is here. And uh, so how do you invite them to join our sponsors who are pushing boxing forward in Ghana? Well, let me thank you personally for uh, asking me this question for a simple reason that you know, there's an Akam proverb, simply meaning that, you know, what is beautiful is beautiful, but it takes money. So we need all the assistance, we need all the support, we need all the sponsors. They should open their, pull out their checkbooks and then, you know, cut us some checks. We need the money to keep this going. And thank you all for coming. Thank you. Charlie Tete. Now, Shall we put our hands together for John Quay? You know, we, we have really the antecedent of uh, most of the Ghanaian world champions. And anybody who knows the antecedent, you can clearly see that this young man is going through the process. His steady rise clearly indicates that he's going to become a world champion. Mr. Morris Consa is here with us from the graphic operations. I know very well you agree with me.